Hello guys, welcome back to Gemini Gamers. Today I'll be going over my top 5 must-have Kerbal Space Program mods. Um, this is my opinion. The list is created on my opinion, so you know you may not agree with all of them, but I think the mods that I chose all add something new to the game, something interesting, you know, something to add a little more flavor to the game. So let's go ahead and go see what I chose for number 5. Alright, for number 5 I have stock visual enhancements and texture replacer so that's two mods but uh... they uh... completely change how the game looks they add clouds they add shaders to the sun so you can see over there uh... city lights and all that and they change the skybox with texture replacer texture replacer can also change a bunch more things like the like faces of your kerbals and many other textures uh... even text in the game i'm pretty sure at this point so you know that's gonna really make this game a lot, look a lot better for you so if you're feeling a little bored from the normal stock view make sure to install stock visual enhancements and texture replacer and that will make the game look a lot better and um... the mod also adds clouds to all the stock planets with atmosphere which includes eve and um... duna over here Right there, let's see if we can go. Yeah, there we go. See, atmosphere. I don't, uh, sandstorms in Duna, not clouds. Sorry, sandstorms because Duna doesn't have any clouds. But yeah, let's go ahead and go to Jewel. A lot of clouds, even rings. It adds rings, I think, as from this mod. So yeah, very cool. And Lathe, very nice looking. Nice uh, shader that makes the that's the a little blue hazy look to the to the planet moon I mean um, clouds you know very cool very nice looking alright let's go ahead and move to our number four mod alright so my number four mod is OPM or outer planets mod uh, it adds four new planets to the system the Kerbal system outside of Jules uh, orbit so the first planet will be Sarnus and it's supposed to represent Saturn in our real life so yeah, it adds moons, a bunch of moons. Uh, let's go to some of the more interesting ones. Slade, it's one of the more cool looking ones. Uh, and Tecto, you know, Titan, kind of like, you know, representative of that. Um, so this mod, you would add it because of, you know, you already explored everything. You're tired of the normal system. Um, so you would come here to these other planets are further away so they're a little bit more challenging to get here but not that much just a maybe a couple more tanks in your space uh, ship or something like that um, so yeah uh, it has a whole new system uh, every planet has moons Erlum has its own moons uh, oh whoop, back, went back to curve in there no not on purpose so yeah everyone has their own moons each one has their own interesting thing to them so the interesting thing about Arulum is that one of its moon has an extra moon on it, so it's a moon of a moon. And uh, yeah, so you know, that's a cool thing about this one. Nadon has a very weird moon. It's called Thatmo. It has a slight atmosphere, so it's not a very big, thick atmosphere, but you know, it's very cool because the gravity is very low. And it has an atmosphere, so... And this, this goes to show how far away we are these planets are so that over there is a sun right that right there is a sun and you can't tell if that's a sun if you if you were to look at it you would say it's just another star in the skybox right and some stars are actually kinda of bigger than it in the skybox so you know that's how far we are and there's another moon here and then Plock which is Pluto and the moon Karen so you know you would just add this to add an extra bit of entertainment into the game if you're bored of the normal system uh, it runs very well well unlike other um, planet mods out there other planet mods either add too much or are completely ridiculous and you know they require a lot of mods for you to actually get to these planets like the uh, like other planets and other stars you need to install like um, some Warp drive mod or something like that, which is, you know, I don't know, it kind of makes the game boring because you just end up using the warp drive to go everywhere, so yeah, so that's that. Let's go on to our number three mod. 
Alright, so for my number three mod, I chose KW Rocketry. I'm pretty sure all of you know what KW Rocketry is. Uh, but the reason I chose KW Rocketry as my number three mod is because it adds just a humongous amount of parts. It adds engines, all types of engines, all our rocket boosters, uh, and a whole bunch of tanks. So it even, you know, it, it boosts the amount of stuff you can build in the game by adding a whole new tier of, uh, of tanks, rocket parts. So 5 meter parts instead of the normal tiny Kerbal Space Program 3 meter parts if I can find them around here. So yeah, here you go. This is a, this is usually the biggest tank you can get in Kerbal. And you can go a step beyond that with KW Rocketry. And uh, in, the engines look really nice. They're very nicely textured. And the best thing of all, they're kind of stock alike. So you know, they, they're not gonna, they're gonna fit correctly with your other rockets they're, they're not going to stand out too much they're just going to look way cooler but you know whatever um, and they add a whole bunch of parts and they fit very well with the career if you're playing career they just add a whole new taste to that so you know if you're having trouble having fun with your rockets anymore it's always a good mod to have and uh, if you're, if you're also having trouble finding mods to install it's also a good one to always put in uh, you can you can never you can always use just a big humongous engines in this in this pack like this one or you know they're all pretty powerful but you know what I mean you can always just use these parts the solid rocket boosters you know so yeah that's number three all right so for my number two mod I chose Kerbal Joint Reinforcement uh, the reason I chose this mod is because recently I don't know in the in how long this has been happening since I haven't played the game for a while but recently, the stock uh, uh, rigidity between joints hasn't been very strong. They got that problem fixed a bit uh, in, in a couple updates ago, but the problem seems to come to have come back. So you know that's kind of sad. But you know th this mod just makes everything a lot joint a lot stronger. Um, you can build really long ships without them falling apart. Hopefully, this one doesn't fall apart. But um, yeah, you can build things like this. You can maneuver as much as you want. And uh, the most importantly, that's just that's not it. And you could before you could just add a bunch of struts and other parts to help your rocket just be more stable. The problem with that was that you couldn't build very lo long or, you know, structurally clump complicated ships in space causing you to lose a lot of just a lot of motivation once you build this huge thing ready to go to some planet and then you can't move it because you're it, everything's just wobbly you know that's sad to see so you know Kerbal joint reinforcement helps remove that problem a little bit it makes everything a lot stronger whole held together a lot stronger and you can build more ridiculous stuff than you could before so I don't know why you wouldn't install this mod ever so yeah that's for number two alright so for my number one mod I chose Kerbal Engineer. You've seen a bit of it when I was talking about KW Rocketry and also when I was flying the rocket. So why I chose this mod is because you know I, I really come to use it as a really good tool as with my time playing Kerbal Space Program and I play this game a lot. Um, so you know before I got this mod I always had to guess. I always had to build or my rockets by guessing uh, how much fuel I would need to get to where I want to go and come back and sometimes you had to guess so much that uh, you, you failed your mission because you for, you added too much of it which you causes you not to be able to land on some planet like Eve or Duna or you didn't add enough and uh, you ended up either not being able to land and just crash landing or landing and not being able to get home and you know that just made everything a lot more complicated and boring sometimes because uh, well once once you do it a couple of times you, you're like ah, I don't really don't want to go get those scrolls anymore and from some planet right and you have to send a whole new ship there and sometimes you send that ship and that ship didn't have enough fuel or it wasn't enough fuel to get them home or something something like that and um, with this mod you can basically just know how much you need so yeah you can build your rockets the right you know, with the right amount of fuel and get to where you want to go without any problems and uh, that's always good because you can build build them you don't have to overbuild them you can just build them the right amount 
Uh, so making everything a lot more interesting. You can engineer your craft as much as you want. Uh, you can add more engines as long as you still have enough, right? You can have more fun building your ship now with this. And also the other reason is that this mod does, isn't too overpowered to cause you to get bored. Like Megchip. Me Megchip is a good mod if you don't like playing the game, right? If you just like watching your ships go to other places, Megchip is good for you. But if you want to do it yourself... And then build your own ship and, and do all that stuff. This is the greatest mod for that. Because it calculates everything. You don't have to do any math. You just have to know the numbers. And you can do, look at a Delta B map in, online to see those numbers. So, like, from going from the moon's surface to orbit on the moon. You need around 550 meters per second. So you know how much you need. I'd always put a little extra. So I put 650 in my ship to get back. So, yeah, uh, plus the landing uh, Delta B, so, you know, so, you can do a little, you need to do a little bit of math, but it's no, no big deal, and uh, makes the game a whole lot funner. Alright guys, that'll be all for my five top Kerbal Space Program mods list. Um, you know, you leave a comment down below if you agree with the mods I had, or if you think I should include another mod in the list, one that was better than the ones I had. So, you know, I'll, I'll definitely be responding to your comments, if there is any. And, uh, I'll also be starting a new series with these mods, including most of these mods. So, um, stay around, look around for that. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, leave a like, do all that stuff. Click on the little bell, apparently that's a thing. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.